Uh, another strong listing that happened today was uh, Dilip Bildcon. The management is uh, now joining us, Mr. Ro uh, Mr. Rohan Suryavanshi, Head Strategy and Planning. Uh, sir, if you could just uh, you know take us through the listing, 12%. Are you happy with the sort of move that we are seeing? Uh, hi, Pankaj. Uh, thanks a lot uh, for your congratulations. Yes, uh, very, very happy with the kind of new subscription that we got, you know, which is... Uh, you know, just the biggest for an EPC uh, company in almost, uh, uh, almost a decade. And now, even with the strong listing that you had, uh, we are very excited, uh, you know, with, with what has happened. And we're only uh, hopeful for better things to come in the future as, you know, we've, you know, announced our quarterly results and as, you know, all those that you promised to the market uh, get delivered uh, as the year goes by. Right. You know, the sort of response that uh, you have got or, you know, the sort of... Uh, you know, say the subscription levels that you have got uh, seems to be quite good, especially when you consider that infrastructure as a sector has not been liked by the market for a while. Yes, exactly. You know, if you look at that, uh, in the last eight, nine years, uh, this has been for a specific GPC infra company, this has been uh, the most, uh, you know, oversubscribed because I guess people lost faith in these companies in between. A, the market, I mean, you know, the general economy was not doing well and also some of the companies uh, some of my older peer sets, uh, I guess, uh, were not so transparent when when it came to you know the kind of things that they were doing. So we hope to change all those uh, perceptions, you know, to you know the way that we do things uh, in terms of how we execute things, uh, in terms of you know owning our own equipment, in terms of uh, having all our people. We want to also change perceptions in terms of, uh, of you know the kind of uh, you know the, how uh, you know the perceptions that people have about the sector. Uh, we hope that we can with our uh, kind of transparency and willingness to share data, we can change some of those things. Right. Uh, sir, can you also just, uh, I know you have explained it earlier, but you know, for our viewers, now that it's a new listed company, uh, can you just explain the company once again for us? What does the company do? What are the achievements? Uh, where, where are we present? What projects are we into currently? Sure. So, we are today uh, India's largest uh, robot EPC company. Uh, we are present currently in 12 states. We've already worked in 15 states, so we're present in 12 states right now. We will be the only company in this sector besides LNT which will be so spread out across the country. And that happened because of all the systems and processes that we put in place. This, uh, you know, across these 12 states, I'm working in 66 project, uh, project sites. Uh, this amounts to about 11,000 crores uh, of net order book as of March 31st. Uh, these are orders that I'll execute over the next two, two and a half years. 85% of this order book is in the road sector. 15% of it is in uh, sectors such as dams, canals, water supply, building, mining, uh, that we diversified in the last two and a half years. Uh, what really sets us apart as a construction firm is the fact that everything that we do, we do it on our own. We don't subcontract anything at all. So our model is very much like an LNG in that sense. Uh, none of my peer sets, besides them, you know, uh, and a couple of high you know, other companies, nobody executes everything that they undertake. You know, usually people subcontract it. But we do everything on our own. Because we do everything on our own, we also have all our equipment. We have more than 7,300 pieces of equipment. This is the largest equipment bank in the country, uh, second only to uh, LNG, uh, that we run across, you know, that we have deployed across the country. These uh, equipment are all from the best manufacturers in the world, uh, such as Caterpillar, Ridgeman, Metso, Volvo, Ashoka Leyland, Schwing Setter. For all these companies, I am their largest client in India. In fact, for Caterpillar, uh, we were the largest client uh, last, last year globally. So, you know, we, build, we believe in building homogeneity. Uh, because we are such a huge fleet, we also have about 20,000 people who work full-time for the company. Uh, so, again, you know, this is the largest uh, construction uh, company employed in the, in the country right now. Because of the strategy that we followed over so many years, we've consistently delivered projects before time, uh, and we've won early completion bonuses of almost 220 crores in the last uh, three, four years. This amounts to roughly one and a half, two percent of my top line when I look at that. So again, we're the only company which has consistently delivered more than 90 percent of our projects before time uh, in this sector, which is, you know, people are always complaining about uh, construction delays. So we've done that and we've won early completion bonuses above, over and above my regular profit from the government for that. So this is like a little bit born in a natural as you guys. Right. Uh, so, what is the margin profile of the EPC contracts? One from NHAI. Uh, we always look at uh, you know uh, 20% EBITDA uh, whenever we're bidding for I mean budgets. 
basically will come down to about 18 percent fat that we look at. Uh, but when you take that level, about 18 20 percent. And again, we have uh, the highest uh, in our industry at, the, at those uh, the margins as well because of our strategy. Right. Uh, you know, at what level of book to bill will the company stop taking new orders and focus only on execution? Uh, I'm trying to understand is there a threshold uh, on maximum number of sites that uh, the company can execute simultaneously? Uh, excellent question. Uh, so, so it's been, uh, you know, very rightly pointed just time at what point will companies start execution. So, us as a company, we're very focused on execution. In fact, in the last, uh, uh, in the last uh, two, to, uh, yeah, I mean, like six years or so, we've only uh, taken orders that we can execute. So, you know, our order book will always be about two and a half times our trailing revenue. Uh, and even going forward, we will continue to maintain that same uh, average of two to and a half times. Uh, of our uh, trading revenue as order book. And we are able, because we want to have that kind of two-year outlook into our orders, given our models. Right. Sir, uh, I was just looking at the track record of the top-line growth. It has been very, very healthy. Uh, can you just tell us that how has the company invested in increasing managerial and supervising, uh, you know, supervisory bandwidth in order to, you know, continuously grow in a better manner? Uh, of course, I think it's very important. So even though we are a family-owned business, we're very professionally driven uh, when it comes down to, you know, getting the right kind of people and the right kind of, uh, you know, system and processes. So we have people from across the country, from the north and the south and the east and the west, as such, uh, who come from all, working from all different, different good companies and they're all, you know, based out of the town and, you know, also deployed across various parts of the country. Uh, these are all guys on, on the one we need about my company. We have a very young team. Most of my, you know, my managerial uh, people will be around the age of 40. So what that does is, you know, unlike by, you know, some of the older peer sets, we are very, very young, agile, you know, nimble, and we continue to take challenges and continue to deliver on them. So very young team, which is leading an even younger uh, bunch of guys. So my, the average age of my employees would be about 31, 32. So it's a very, very young team. It's all full of energy and drive. Except, you know, and I'd like to invite you uh, to... Uh, visit our office sometime and visit our project site, you will see more difference between us and any of my competitors uh, just through the way that you do things. Right. Uh, sir, thank you so much and congratulations on a great listing. 14% higher for Dilip Buildcon, 250 rupees. So it got a great response and it also got a great response uh, on the listing day. The management explaining there, how would growth happen? Uh, how would they essentially manage their orders going ahead? 14% higher for Dilip Buildcon.